Hello Class 8. Today I've got a short tutorial on how to do subtractions using the column method. Now, the reason I'm showing this again is because as we go through the questions, as we get to number three, there's a couple of things that we need to remember, which some of us are forgetting when we subtract. So we're going to look at that today. First of all, we're going to have a quick look at our remember twos. Remember to start from the units, knock next door, and to show your workings. I'm going to do all of that in this session today. So number one, we're going to look at the question 253 minus 178. Now straight away, so if you start from the units, three take away eight, show three fingers. Can you take away eight from three? No, I can't. Therefore, I need to knock next door. So if I go to the tens column and I say, excuse me, Mr. 50, can I borrow 10? Yep, sure. He borrows 10, so three now becomes 13. But 50, I've taken 10 away, so I've got 40 left. Let's work that out now. 13 take away 8. I can tell the difference between them. 13 minus 8 is 5. Can I do 4 take away 7? No, I can't. So again, I need to look to the hundreds column and say, Mr. 200, can I borrow 100? He says, yep, yeah, sure. So I've knocked next door. Now that 100 I've borrowed comes into this column here, into the tens column, which makes this number looks like 14 but it's actually 140 because i got 14 tens so 14 comes in here and the 100 i've borrowed i need to show what's left which is 100 so now i've got 14 take away seven well if you know you you're doubling and you're halving you know that half of 14 is seven um and one take away one is zero so my first answer is 75 Let's quickly move on to number two. Number two, we've got 670 minus 459. Now, we start in the units column, and we see that 670 ends with a zero. And if anything ends in a zero, you know you can't take anything away from it. Therefore, I have to knock next door to the 70 column. I say, excuse me, can I borrow 10? And he says, yep, yeah, sure. So he's not borrowing he's not giving it back he's taking it so 10 goes in that column now and this column then becomes 660 because 70 take away 10 is 60 so quickly as we can then 10 take away 9 is 1 6 take away 5 is 1 and 6 take away 4 is 2 answers 211 finally number 3 this is the one I wanted to look at really in particular um, because we've got 800 minus 189 so the same steps start from the units zero take away nine i can't do it therefore let's look at next door oh hang on he's got zero as well so i can't borrow from him therefore i've got to go over again to the hundreds column so we're going to look at 800 and say excuse me mr 800 can we borrow some of your digits and he says yep yeah, sure so 800 becomes 700 and we've actually borrowed now 100. Okay, we're not borrowing 10, we're borrowing 100 because it's from the hundreds column. I put the 100 at the top there because we're going to look at that in more detail now. So, I move back over now to the units column. The most in the units column that we can borrow is 10 because when we go from, when we count up, um, from 1 to 10, we go from a unit into a 10. So 8, 9, and then 10 would be 1 in the 10s column and 0 in the units column. But when we are subtracting, we can show this 10 that we've borrowed into the units like that. However, the 10s column now needs a bit of help too. Who can tell me? How much is left from the 100 we borrowed after I've taken 10 away? The answer is 90. There are 9 10s left because 90 and 10 make the 100 we borrowed. So there's 9 10s left. So to show that, I can cross the 0 out here because I don't need to see the 0. And instead, I'm going to put the 9 in here to show nine tens now we can work it out because we've 
solved all the top part, we can now work it out. So 10 to the degree 9 is 1, 9 to the degree 8 is also 1, 7 to the degree 1 is 6. And the answer is 611. So there you have it. This is how we do subtraction. I'm going to put some um, up here as well for you to have a go at. Let me know what, how you get on and I look forward to seeing what you do. Good luck.